So I'm doing some experimentation on some cotton cloth. This is cotton uh, and spandex, and I know spandex isn't good to use for curves uh, with resin, but it's only like 7% uh, spandex. I went to Joan Fabric and wanted to get something so I can test for that arrow curve, that crazy curve that I need to get done. I don't want to cut the foam until I'm pretty sure and pretty confident that I can do this because cutting that would be pretty pretty bad if I can't figure this out and uh, I don't have that much experience with uh, fiberglass and resin so and I've never used cloth before so I just mocked this up to yeah just to, to brush on some resin and see what happens so now and I love epoxy resin because I can actually do this inside my house with my dog watching in the uh, warm, warmer temperatures. So more later, just uh, making a clip to show what I'm doing. All right, I just painted it on with a just a simple brush. Uh, what's nice is that Harbor Freight sells a whole box of them for just a couple dollars and you just throw them away when you're done. So if you're doing any kind of work like this, resin work, it's, they're perfect. Uh, you wouldn't want to use them for anything detailed, but for this, they're great. So everything is on, so I'm going to go set this next to my fireplace. It's still slow cure stuff, um, but whatever. I will uh, put it by the fireplace, and maybe it'll be done by the time I go to bed. Well, it's the next day, and this looks really good. I, I think this was a successful test. It's solid. Obviously, I need to wrap it with... I would need to wrap this with fiberglass still. It's not good enough alone, but... I really like the way the fabric turned out. It looks like it absorbed the resin nicely. So it looks like I'm going to be using this on the corner. Back out here working on the arrow after uh, I would call a successful test of the, um, the cotton. I haven't cut this yet because I'm still pretty nervous about that. Uh, it's very final. Uh, but I'm out here working on the corners. So what I did is just angled these and took a, where is it? Oh, it's over there, a long razor and just gently and slowly went down the side and followed these two lines that I made. And then I took uh, my rotary tool, nipped off these. I still have to do this corner and the rest of these. Uh, but that's gonna make it really strong here in the corner when I fiberglass and wrap over this. And I think it'll also just help a, a little bit more with the arrow because you want to have more rounded corners and less uh, squared off corners. And now I just marked off this side and I'm about to cut that one. Out here working on the arrow, it's a few days later. I uh, finally have some time to work on this again. So. Uh, take it one cut at a time because I really don't want to fuck this up. So I just cut this corner off here and then I cut this corner here at that crazy angle and based on what I can see and what I'm thinking is going to happen, it's just going to help the fabric uh, curve over this and I think it'll have a better angle. I uh, did this to both sides. Uh, so far so good. Uh, but now it is time to cut the wood and I'm gonna have to get in here and make an angle here And I also need to follow this upward angle here It's going okay though. Okay first cut has been made so I tried following the angle of this right here Kind of hard to see but yeah, so I've tried following this angle and then I'm going to probably sand up top here as it blends to this angle here. So I left some meat on here, some wood to cut, because so, I figure I'll get the, the belt sander and then just gradually work that down so this angle works. But I gotta go pick up some fabric uh, before I cut the other side, just because I wanna make sure that this works and this is the, the angle that I wanna use. Um, and just see if there's anything I, I need, need to change before I actually go ahead and cut that one. I just picked up some fabric. Unfortunately, the last two days, the woman who sold the stuff to me originally wasn't there, and I don't know the name of the fabric or anything about fabric. Uh, 
So I just went in there and this is just slightly different. Uh, I'll include a photo of the label and it has a bit of spandex in it, which from what I read on forums, you don't want to have uh, when you're doing uh, work with epoxy and resins and stuff. But I don't know, I already made two trips in there and I, I don't know exactly. So this seems close enough. Uh, obviously I have a couple things to sand, but it actually looks pretty good. Uh, I'm hoping it takes resin. I have to stretch it out still. I stapled the top in. None of the sides are str uh, stretched or stapled in. So that's kind of the shape that I had in my head. Um, and I'm just hoping the wind will push off and go up and around. All right, got some more work to do. All right, I think I have this to an angle uh, to my liking. It's pretty tight and I think once I get resin on there, it's gonna look all right. I have been sanding and working this for a little while. Still can't get rid of that little hump there, but I figure I can sand it down once it's all hard and uh, I can sand the resins down and hopefully smooth that out a little bit more. Plus once the fiberglass goes over top of it, I, I can always sand that and I really, it'll probably blend all that out on its own and you won't even notice it. So uh, there's my crazy angle. Now I have to do the same thing with this side. Uh, luckily the weather is awesome. It's 60 degrees right now. All of our snow melted the last uh, day or so. So I have the windows or the doors open and I'm going to be doing some epoxy outside for the first time. Well, thankfully I haven't fucked up really much of anything on this build so far and really in the old T-Rex. Uh, knock on wood, nothing bad really happened and I really didn't even screw anything up. Uh, small fuck up here though, I forgot that I changed my angle, uh, so originally I had come off this point and I wanted to change it to go off this point and meet the point down here, and I forgot I didn't make the change on this side, uh, so luckily this all came off in mostly one piece, I just had to, I have to hold it in place and now I have to cut uh, at this line because unfortunately I cut at the wrong line so got to fix that and then I'll have to probably glue this in place some kind of um, wish I had thumbtacks actually or uh, uh, toothpicks rather that would be nice but I don't have any so yeah a little fuck up but continuing on this is on uh, I don't think they are exactly perfect which I mean I, I don't know how to make these even exactly perfect because it is pretty crazy. I'll show you though, these are the two pieces that I cut. Uh, it's driver's side, other side is passenger side. So you can see there is a bit of a difference. Obviously I sanded and changed it a little bit anyway, but you can tell they're, they aren't quite perfect, but I think it'll be okay. I mean, without, I'm not doing wind tunnel t t uh, testing anyway, so I, I think it'll be good enough. So the epoxy is on. Uh, I think the right side actually went on a little bit better, but I didn't pull this side quite as tight as I did on this side. And on this side, you can see there's like, if it focuses, there's some gaps in there and it still looks pretty white even though I put quite a bit on. It's, it doesn't seem to be going through. Uh, it took more epoxy than I thought it was going to, but I, th I think it'll be okay. So I'm here looking at the arrow while, um, while the fabric is drying. And you can kind of see, well, you can definitely see that. And uh, I don't, not too sold on this. Uh, I don't think, I think it could have been better. It just seems like at this point, almost have a scoop there or something to still catch wind. And I, I'm just not sure that this angle is gonna do enough to push the wind up and over. I mean, when you, when you look at it from the front, again, I'm not an engineer, I'd, any input is great, but uh, when you look at the front, it just it still looks like wind resistance right there for the whole corner. Like, I feel like I should have just taken this straight down the whole trailer, the whole, uh, the camper. 
but I, I had to go higher to fit this door. The original plan was to have this shape for the whole uh, trailer, the whole sides and everything. I mean, you can tell it's from this angle, it's a pretty good scoop uh, air dam that should push air over. I just really have no freaking clue. Uh, I hope it works out. <laughs> I think this is going to end up being the longest video for such a small portion of this whole build. Uh, I'm going to try to make this quick, but I ended up just putting a layer of fiberglass over top of this because I really didn't like the way that it was absorbing uh, into the fabric. So I just didn't look good and it didn't seem like it was hardening very well. So I put a layer of fiberglass in there and I hope, hopefully that'll be better. But despite the warm weather, it's taken forever to cure. So it'll probably be tomorrow morning at this rate, but I'll check before I go to bed. Right now I think it's around four o'clock, something like that. And it's still very soft, but I'll update, update you guys as we go. Well, knocking on wood didn't help. Uh, I'm really not super sold on this. Uh, looking at the car from the, the front, man, it still just looks like I'm I'm pulling a brick wall. So, uh, I'm, I'm kind of looking at this, looking to make a change. You might be able to see the line that I just drew there. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about making some changes. Uh, if there's anybody out there with experience with this and arrow, I, I welcome the, the input. But I'm kind of thinking that even like, so once this dries, I measured back 14 inches. So pretty much cut out this, go straight back, and just try to um, just make this this angle longer instead of so vertical. And if you look at like a lot of the other camper builds that people do, they do some pretty crazy angles. So just like this, only it's a lot more steep, but they, they don't really see, they don't care quite as much about mile per gallon because they could stop and pick up gas <laughs> anywhere. Uh, with me, I'm really looking at efficiency and trying to make this as aerodynamic as possible. So I hate to do it, but I think once this dries, I might cut straight that way, cut all this out and do the whole cloth thing again and just bring this taper out ba basically just trying to get rid of this corner that's right here and just sweep it a little bit longer so damn i yeah at least nothing is it's not that bad it's just more work but again i, I still don't know what the fuck i'm doing hope it works <laughs> i'll cross my fingers uh yeah if you guys have any input, feel free to comment below or email me. But I'm going to think about it. I'm going to, this has to still dry anyway. It's not quite hard yet. But I'll I'll think about it overnight and, and maybe get, do some cutting tomorrow. All right, till uh till next time. I I guess there's going to be a part 2 to Arrow. I just thought this would be one video and done, but I guess uh, I'm going to be making another one later. See you guys.